Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my best in beauty of 2018. Now I'm going to try something different this year and I'm gonna try to squeeze everything into one video. I was thinking of doing a lot of different things and I just decided I wanted it all to be in one video. So I'm going to try to move quickly through everything and we'll see how it goes. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Savvy. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. So the first thing I want to talk about, MAC Fix Plus. This is my prep spray. It's everybody's prep spray. It is still my favorite. Not going to spend a lot of time on this. It's still just something I use pretty much every day. And I just cracked open a new bottle. My number one primer is still this YSL Tisha Eclat primer. It was my number one last year. High end or drugstore. I really haven't been able to find a drugstore primer that I love. So this is still my number one. Another one that I really liked was this Forsali Elixir. I love using this, but I always use this to either mix in foundation or in conjunction with another primer. But I really do like this as well. This is my second one of this. I like the Mineral Veil by Hourglass. I love this, even though it's like a sample size. I have a couple of these and I've already used up another one that I had that was a mini. And this is so good if you have oily skin. So this is really top notch primer. It's expensive, but it is very, very good. I also wanna mention this Bye Bye Pores Oil Free Primer. It's really, really good. I had a little sample of it and I decided to go out and buy it. I enjoyed it so much and I'm actually wearing it today. I like the way my foundation wears with this. It's a smoothing primer and it helps to minimize your pores. So I really do like this. And another one that I like was the Pearl. And I think I might've discovered this last year. I'm not sure, but I really like this one. And I typically wear this in my T-zone in addition to another primer. So I like to wear this one on top of another primer, but it really does brighten in the center of my face. So I absolutely love this primer as well. I also discovered this Fenty primer this year and I just have a couple of samples of this. I haven't had to buy the actual primer yet and this is really good if you have oily skin. I just wanted to mention that once again here on my channel. A lot of people just choose one product and I kind of know what my favorite is but I want to mention others because even my favorite is just not the only product that I used the whole year. My number one foundation for the year is Estee Lauder's Double Wear in Cinnamon. I discovered the foundation before, but I was wearing a different shade. I had a little sample, but I discovered this shade this year and I love this foundation. I just love how it wears. It's very long wearing and it just makes my skin look very flawless. But this shade is a little bit better for me during the summer and it's a little bit worn, okay? It's looking a little used. And it doesn't come with a pump. I added the pump. I like mixing it right now with this Chanel foundation and I'm wearing both of these today. And this is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet and it's more of a medium coverage foundation and it's a little bit light for me. So I like to mix the two of these to get a perfect shade match. So this combo has been my favorite in the winter but this is my number one foundation for the year. Honorable mentions as far as foundation is this Magic Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This is also like a close runner up because anytime I wear this foundation, my skin just looks immaculate and I love the shade match. I just love how my skin looks with this one. People compliment me on my skin whenever I wear this foundation versus my foundation. So I love the Magic Foundation and of course, the Dior Skin Forever is still a favorite of mine. I haven't talked about it as much on my channel, but I still wear this foundation on the regular. So this one is like a third this year, but I still love this, okay? I did want to give you guys a drugstore option. Probably still my favorite drugstore foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me. I think my shade is 330, but I've discovered this this year, and this is the Makeup Revolution um, conceal and define I think is what it is called and it's supposed to be sort of a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape foundation. It has the doe foot applicator. This is shade 12.5 and I love this foundation. It is very full coverage and very affordable. My favorite translucent powder is still Laura Mercier. It's the translucent and I also have it in deep and I love wearing these together. I'll wear the translucent down the center of my face and I'll wear this around the perimeter. So this is still a favorite of mine. I also really like the Chanel powder and if you want to dupe 
Maybelline Fit Me powder is very similar to this one. This is translucent three. I love this powder and you get a lot of product. This one looks darker in the pan, but it is gorgeous. It gives you this beautiful, flawless airbrushed finish. So I love that powder. I discovered Clinique's powder. This is called, um, this one is called something. Uh oh, I don't know the name of it. Mm -hmm. This is a powder by Clinique. I'll link it down in the description box. And this is Transparency 4. And so it's a little bit deeper shade, but it really does go on transparent. And this is very mattifying. And so I really fell in love with this. I also use Peach Perfect a lot this year. Once I discovered this one, I really started using this more. And I, I haven't been using the Peach Perfect a lot the latter part of this year. So I didn't want to mention it in today's video, but it is also very good as well. I still use the MAC Blot Powder. This is something I carry around in my purse every day, and I still love that. I wanted to mention that. And I also started using, and I'm not sure if this started this year or before, this is Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan. And I have really put a dent in this. And this is really like a powder foundation, but it is beautiful as a finishing powder and to set your face. So I actually used a little bit of this today. I have a lot of different powders on, but I also use this today. And there are times if I'm doing like a five minute run errands kind of face where I'll just wear concealer and then I'll put this powder all over as and I don't even wear foundation and it's gorgeous so this is so good Tarte Shape Tape is still my favorite concealer but I discovered this cover effects power play this is G medium 2 and I love this um, the applicator is really unique but this is really good and it doesn't crease under my eye and I'm wearing it today. So I discovered this this year. This is one of the few concealers that I have worn that I really like. I just am really picky when it comes to concealers and this one is really good. Another concealer that I wore a lot this year that I want to mention is this Biscuit. And this is by NARS and I typically wear this every day to work. So this is my everyday concealer that I like to wear because it is so quick and easy to blend out and it's a soft matte concealer and I also have the shade caramel but I really like the shade biscuit. I wear more high-end makeup than I do drugstore and it, it is what it is guys. Sorry. Powders. I discovered this hourglass ambient lighting powder and this one's radiant light and I actually use this today. It's just one of those powders that adds a nice luminous radiant finish so it's a really pretty finishing powder to go on after you have already set your face. And I discovered this this year and I really like it. It's good. So the Lancome Absolute Powder in Absolute Golden is still my number one powder for adding a glow. And I have some others. Like I bought the new one by Laura Mercier and I like it, but not as much as I like this one. There's a Becca Blurring Powder that is also really good, but I still like this the best. All right, bronzers that I love. My drugstore pick is this Pro Bronzer in Dark. This is by Absolute New York. And I like went on and on, but this is a very warm bronzer. And I'm gonna also go ahead and swatch my high-end bronzer that I love is the one by Becca, the Ipanema Sun. And when you put them side by side, they look very similar. This is Becca and that's the Absolute Golden, okay? And I absolutely love these two bronzers. These two bronzers are just really good. This one is like $8 at a beauty supply store or drugstore. And this one's, of course, a high-end one. And they both are warmer bronzers and they have a little bit of a shimmer. I used the Absolute Golden one today. And I discovered this and love it. I mean... This is a good bronzer right here. I think this was my favorite last year and nothing has really taken its place other than this one. These are my two favorite bronzers. This is Black Radiance and this is like an honorable mention. This one is the shade Cafe and I also use this to bronze with. I have Rich Mahogany too if I'm looking for a little bit deeper shade. This one is actually my favorite of the two and it's very warm too. So I like a warmer bronzer. Contour, other things like palettes. Um, this is the Brontour by Morphe and this is a contour and bronzer and this is Show Mance and I discovered this this year and it is so good and affordable and also this one this is a Sephora palette and it has a contour shade here and blushes and highlighters 
but this contour is gorgeous i use that today so really really beautiful contour product somehow i forgot about this one i have no idea how because i was loving this in 2018 this is it cosmetics confidence in your glow it is the shade warm glow and this has a bronzer blush and a highlighter you can mix them together or wear them separate and i was wearing this to death it was well loved as you can clearly tell this was a super fave of mine in 2018. My Kevin Aquan powder is still a favorite contour product as well. It's just the perfect shade. Whenever I'm traveling, I take the Kevin Aquan powder because it's just perfect for traveling. I'm going fast guys because I have so much. The Shayla palette, this is limited edition and it is probably no longer. I still love it and I love every product in here. I love this for contouring. I love the brightening powder. I love the blush. I love everything about this. And so if you can find something that Tarte makes now that is similar, I'd say jump on it. They don't have the one by Shayla, but they have some others, but this is really good. The only blush product that I really want to talk about is the blush palette by Tarte. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this last year or not, but this has been my number one blush product that I've used all year. I have a couple by MAC that I also use on a regular basis. There are other blushes that I use, but consistently I kept going back to this one. And then I use the one in the Tarte Contour Palette. But these blushes are just my favorite. And I'm wearing this one. I'm wearing this one today. Okay. And I just love this palette. And it is a Tarte um blush bazaar is what it's called only blush i'm talking about today guys i'm like so scared whenever i wear white i'm so scared that i'm gonna make a mess white and red lipstick not always a good mix let's talk about highlighters guys i have a lot of them i want to talk about i'm gonna surprise everybody my number one highlighter is this one by ofra There's, it's just very versatile um let me swatch this for you guys okay that's the highlighter that's by Ofra. Do you see that beautifulness, okay? Uh -huh. This is the Nikki Tutorials Everglow. So whenever I travel or anything, I'm typically going to grab that one because I know that it's going to give me a beaming highlight. But I fell in love with the Omrizi highlighter just like everybody else. And I'm wearing that one today, okay? So... This one is more natural and more perfect for just every day. And they brought it back briefly here during the holidays. If you can get your hands on this highlighter, you can't go wrong with that. And some others that I was impressed by is this one by Becca. I kind of just mixed these two, these together. This is sort of different. It's It's got like a blushy type color, the highlighter, and then this bronzy kind of color. But when you mix it together, you get this, and it is just the softest, most delicate, beautiful highlight. So I really like this, and I used it a lot throughout the year. I mean, I used it a lot after I bought it. A lot. Recently, I discovered the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. Okay, and that's what this looks like, okay? Those are my most worn, like high-end highlighters for the year. But I also really fell in love with this Morphe highlighter in Spark. And oh my goodness, it may be hard to tell on my hand because whenever I do a swatch, it's not all that impressive. This highlighter is absolutely amazing. So I love that. I love this Molten Peach by Maybelline is my other favorite as far as drugstore and it is beautiful and it is my favorite of this um type of highlighter by maybelline i like the peach the best they have a gold one they have rose gold i, I think and there's just some other shades but the peach is my favorite beautiful both affordable love them lashes favorite lashes haven't changed still love the iconic lights by house of lashes that's what i'm wearing today and i love my lily lashes in style miami i wear those a lot those are my two probably most worn lashes on my channel. Let's move on to eye. Eyeshadow primer. Still love Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This one is an anti-aging and I still love it. I don't see a whole lot of difference between this one and the original, but since I have aging eyelids, why not? This is my number one. And I also started using the Soft Okra Paint Pot um, by MAC and 
this is also really good so I use the Urban Decay today like whatever it counts and I really want my eyeshadow to stay on this is the one I'm gonna grab I was really impressed with the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes that they have so I wanted to mention that but I also wanted to talk about these City Mini palettes these you can actually find at the drugstore like at Walmart and this is the one by Shayla and I was really impressed with this little palette it is very impressive it packs a powerful punch the shades are beautiful and i just wanted to let you guys know that these city mini palettes are not to be played with here look at this oh. okay so this is like my drugstore pick because up until i bought this little palette i really wasn't picking up any type of drugstore eyeshadows because I just didn't believe that they were going to be good because in my previous experiences, they weren't the best. They were like chalky, but these are actually very creamy. So uh, this one is gorgeous. I love the color scheme and there are lots of others to choose from. So I would say check these out if you haven't already. These are the City Mini palettes and this is the one that was the collaboration with Makeup Shayla. I think I'm going to go through all of my little makeup wipes today because I'm so scared like this shirt look at this shirt guys this is a Jessica Simpson shirt and I love it and I'm so afraid I'm gonna mess it up <laughs> with makeup <laughs> that was my one affordable pick but again the makeup revolution eyeshadow palettes are also really good so I want to shout them out but my number one palette I have to say um of the year is this Norvina palette by ABH I just love it I love <laughs> I love every shadow in this palette. I love the color scheme. This rose gold, right? Chill. Look at this. This is my favorite shadow in the palette. I really, like, this was the one that I consciously had to move it off of my vanity to wear something else. Because as long as it sat on my vanity, it was the only thing I wanted to wear. And so I moved it and put it away so that I would try some other things. So this is my favorite palette, okay? Hands down for the year. I just fell in love with this palette. I don't know why, but I did. And you can even tell, like, look at this. Look at the cover of this palette. And then I'm getting ready to tell you guys about the Soft Glam. Like, I really was using the Soft Glam a lot until I got that one. And then I put the Soft Glam aside. So Soft Glam is a close second, like... You can do so much with it. It's a very versatile palette. Close second. I also really liked the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. It was also very impressive. Oh, let me tell you guys my favorite shadow in this one. Turn On is like this really beaming eyeshadow. It's my favorite shadow in that palette. And then by some way of a miracle, <laughs> At first, I really wasn't in love with this palette because I didn't think I needed it. And then I fell in love with this Bronze Ambition palette by Pat McGrath. And it's $55, so it's a little pricey. But it has some gorgeous shadows in it, too. Like, look at this thing right here. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? My Her Imports hair review, as well as my favorites video, I was wearing this palette and it's just a beautiful everyday eyeshadow palette and you can create some gorgeous looks with just these few shadows so this is beautiful sorry that i'm giving you guys so many options but that's just how my year was okay i fell in love with a lot this year and i just wanted to tell you guys all about it the eyeliner that was my preferred eyeliner i'm wearing it today is this it cosmetics no tug eyeliner there's a sharpener on the bottom it's a retractable eyeliner i'm at the end so i'm gonna switch it up after this but i got this on sale at ulta and i bought a couple of them and this was the eyeliner i used all year i had a few others like i had the ardency in ardency in ardency you guys know which one I'm talking about. Uh -huh. I have that one too, but it's one that you sharpen. And I really like these better. So I actually was reaching for this way more than the Ardency one. So I really like that liner. As far as liquid liners, I still love my Lancome Art Liner as well as my Stila liner. So I started using more liquid liners to create my wings because they're just faster. And I kind of got away from a lot of the gel liners. I like those. But it was just more work, and this was just easier. So these were my favorite liners still. Nothing has replaced them. The brow definer, I discovered that this year, this is the one that is very chunky, 
And I really didn't like it a lot in the beginning, but I use it today and I've been using it a lot. This is a very fast way to sculpt your brows. And I also, for the, for the most part, use this ABH Brow Powder. This is the Duo and this one is Chocolate. This is how I sculpt my brows on a daily basis. I use the brow powder the most. So I'm refilming a few parts of this video because my sound died in the middle of filming. I'm still getting used to my new camera. So if things look a little bit different, that's why. So let's continue. Another eye product that I really like and wanted to mention is this Glazen Eye Gloss. This is the shade Frosted and it's by Butter London. I got it from Ulta during a sale. And this is so beautiful on the eye. And it's like a jelly consistency. It actually reminds me of the Jelly Highlighter by Forsali, if you're familiar with that. That's what it looks like and that's what it feels like, but it's an eye gloss. And I really enjoyed this this year. It's beautiful on the lid. Want to shout out the Beauty Blender. This is still my sponge of choice. I try a lot of other sponges often, but none of them have been able to beat the Beauty Blender. So I know some people are like, I'm not paying $20 for a sponge, but just do it one time or try to get them when they're on sale or something because you can't go wrong with this. This one's dirty. Use it today. For my brows, I have been setting my brows with the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. I got this on what? Sale. And it has like uh, dual combs here and it really locks your brows in place. I've used it ever since I got it. Like half the year, this is what I use. I also use the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this one is the one I've been using most of the year and I really like it. My favorite mascara still is this Too Faced Mascara. It has that fluffy one that I like and it adds a lot of volume. And so it's my favorite mascara. And I also like the Lash Paradise. This is like my favorite drugstore mascara. It is kind of a dupe and I like it just as much, except this one dries out faster. But it doesn't really matter because you don't keep them that long anyway, but this one does dry out faster than this one, but they're both really good. For my lower lashes, you know I use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. It has a really skinny wand and perfect for grabbing those lower lashes, so this is still my go-to for that. But a new mascara I discovered this year that I like is the Monsoor Big by Lancome, and it has a sort of fluffy wand, but it also has like some firmness to the wand. But I like the way it kind of gives a lot of volume to the base of my lashes, and then it flares my lashes out. I haven't been using my lash serum as much as I should to grow my lashes this year, so they've gotten a little bit shorter. I'm going to have to get back in the swing of doing that, but um, this does a good job of flaring out your lashes and separating them, so this one is one to try if you haven't tried it already. I know I'm speeding through this, just hanging in with me. I just want to cover a lot of stuff. So hang in there, guys. I discovered the Pat McGrath Ground Control Lip Liner this year. I have Ground Control, but I also have Contour, which is a little bit lighter shade. I talked about both of them in a recent video where I was testing out the makeup that I bought. And I like using the two together. This one is a deeper brown, and that one's kind of a lighter, nudie brown. And together, they make a beautiful color. Um, I'm wearing this one today, actually, but it is very creamy. They come with sharpeners, really good lip liners. I still love Cork by MAC. It's my favorite, but I wanted to mention another one, and hers are really good as well. Tried out the Pat McGrath Lipsticks the best matte lipstick I have tried in a while. And I have three of these. I only have two right now, but I got the little minis and I love the packaging, but her lipsticks are so good. And I was wearing it in a few of my last videos. Love her lipsticks. My Tom Ford Spanish Pink is still my favorite kind of cream lipstick. And my Nicki Minaj Nicki's Nude by MAC is very similar to my Spanish Pink. And so I like it too and use it a lot. Both of these are like my favorite pinky nudes. Love them. I started using this Estee Lauder lip this year and it is also very creamy. I can't remember the shade name and I use it with this Tom Ford Sable Smoke and I like that combo together. They make a beautiful color. I like using the Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper on top of this lip or any lip. So this is like one of my favorite lip toppers. And I also, of course, love the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar, like favorite lip gloss of all time. 
It is gorgeous. All of Marc Jacobs lip glosses are good. It's like the best lip gloss out there on the market. I killed the Neat Freak lip gloss by ColourPop and Shayla as a lip topper. Love this. And um, ColourPop's lipstick trio with Shayla was also a favorite. Very affordable lippies and let me swatch them here. Um, here are the lipsticks by ColourPop and Shayla and they don't seem to be too creamy and they're not too matte. They do have a luster but they're very beautiful shades and I use those a lot and I keep them right on my vanity and they're affordable so they're very good. Very good lipsticks guys. Another affordable one that I want to mention that I love are these lip shines by Maybelline. And I was very impressed with them. And the two that I like the most are Baddest Beige. And I really like this Undressed Pink. And they look like this. They have a really pretty sheen. And so they're not as sheer as a gloss. And they're not super thick like lipstick. They're just perfect. So very affordable. Right at the drugstore. Great lip product. I think this is my final lippy I want to mention. This is very expensive and wouldn't necessarily tell you guys to go out and buy it unless you just want to splurge because basically it's a clear lip gloss that has a plumping effect, but it's by Dior. It's a lip maximizer and it's 30 plus dollars. So I don't want to tell you guys to rush out and buy it, but I'm going to keep buying it. It's in a beautiful package and it's just gorgeous on the lips and I love it. And I think this is my second one. So I really like this product. I carry it in my purse and it's a gorgeous lip gloss and I just love how it feels on my lips. Setting spray that I use the most is this Locket Setting Spray. I'm at the very end of it. This is by Kat Von D and actually my all nighter setting spray used to be my favorite and then this wasn't but this has replaced it somehow. So I really like this setting spray and the Continuous Setting Spray Mist by Morphe is also a favorite. I use this one to set my face today, but I use this sparingly because it's an aerosol and it seems like it empties fast and I don't want it to empty. So I actually use this one every day, most of the time. And every now and then I'll still grab the all-nighter, but I really like this one. And then I use this sparingly just because I want to save it. My favorite fragrance for the year is this one by Tom Ford. It's very expensive and... I love this fragrance. It's a beautiful summer scent that I cannot describe. It's not very long lasting, but it's still my favorite. I just love the way this smells. And I bought it as a splurge purchase and it was on sale and I would not have purchased it otherwise because I think it's over $100 for this big bottle. It's not even the parfum and it's expensive, but it's still a beautiful fragrance. And I just wanted to mention because I was really excited to get this and I love the way this smells. So thank you all for watching my favorite beauty products for 2018. I know I squeezed a lot into this video, but there was just a lot I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Please make sure that you like like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys again in 2019. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy, signing out.